Hello and welcome. In today's class, we will be solving the first program from ISC Computer Science 2025 specimen paper, the theory paper. According to this question, given our two strings, input string and a mask string, that remove all the characters of the mask string from the original string. Let's try to understand this with an example. So here we have the original string communication and the mask string as M-O-N-T, mont. Now M is removed from communication, O is removed, N is removed and T is removed. And that's why now we are left with this new string. So that is the desired output. These are the specifications of the class string op. So class name is string op. Then we have three data members. We have str to store the original string, msk to store the mask string, and nstr to store the resultant string. Then we have a default constructor to initialize the data members with legal initial values. Void accept to accept the original string and the mask string in lowercase. Void form to form the new string after removal of the characters present in the mask string. And void display to display the original string and the newly formed string. We also need to define the main function to create an object and call the functions accordingly to enable the task. So that's the question. Let's start solving the program. So here I have created a file string of Java. Let's first of all import the scanner class. Then we create the class string op. We create all the data members. So we have string str, string msk, and string nstr. Public. So this is the default constructor. String op and str equals new string. msk equals new string and nstr equals new string. Then we have to create the accept function. So public void accept. This is where we are going to do the input. So we create the scanner object here. We ask for the original string. str equals in dot next line dot to lowercase. Because we have to input the original string and the mass string in lowercase. Similarly, we input the mass string. msk equals in dot next line. Here also dot to lowercase. So input is done. Now we create the form function. So public void form. Now here what we are going to do is we are going to access each and every character in the original string. So for i equals 0, i is less than str.length i++. And we are going to extract the individual characters. So char ch equals str dot caret i. 
So each time the ith character is extracted from the original string. Now we check whether this character is present in the mask string or not. If it is not present in the mask string, only then we are going to include it in the new string. How do we write that? So we can use the if condition here. So if msk dot index of ch equals minus one. What does it mean? It means that if this character is not present in the mask string, why not present? Because we are checking for minus one. If it will be present, it will give a positive value because it will return the index value and index value is always positive. But in case we are getting a negative value, that means this character is not present in the mask string. And only then we are going to include this character in the new string. So that's why now we are going to write nstr plus equals ch. We are concatenating each character into this new string, which is not present in the mask string. So that's the form function. And now we create the display function. Here we have to display the original string and the newly formed string. So system dot out dot print element original string str and newly formed string nstr. And now we only have to create the main function. Inside the main function, we firstly create an object of this class. So string op obj equals new string, new string op, and the default constructor gets executed. And then obj dot accept function is called. Next, we call the form function. And finally, the display function. So that's the program. Let's check the output now. So communication and MONT. So you can see that we are getting the right result. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next class.